Hey everybody, Hero TJ here. And Amiibo Jason here. Today we examine the case for one of the most fan requested characters in Smash history, the one and only Princess Daisy. But before we take a look at if Daisy deserves a shot at Smash glory, let's first take a quick look back at her history. Now Daisy made her first Nintendo appearance all the way back in 1989 in the Game Boy classic Super Mario Land which also happens to be one of my favorite Game Boy games of all time. So Daisy's homeland of Sara Saland was invaded by an evil space alien who wanted nothing more than to marry Daisy and make her his queen. Daisy was kidnapped and all of her loyal subjects were hypnotized. Thankfully, Mario was on the case and stopped the evil plot before it could happen, saving not only Daisy, but the entire kingdom as well. Now, the Super Mario series always had a bit of fantasy thrown into the mix, but this was the first time that we had a bit of sci-fi thrown in, too. 1989? Wow! That makes Daisy nearly as old as the Mario franchise itself! She'll be celebrating her 30th anniversary next year! That's right, but sadly, just like Waluigi, Daisy was never fully developed. Rather than join the Mario Brothers in a main series adventure, she was seen primarily as a sports superstar instead. Daisy was playable in practically every Mario sports game ever created, including the entire Mario Tennis series, Mario Golf, and of course, Mario Kart. Don't forget the Mario Party series! Daisy made her first appearance in Mario Party 3 and every other game in the franchise after that. In fact, Mario Party 4 was the first game that we saw Daisy as she appears today, in her iconic orange dress and bobby hair. Daisy's been a part of the Mario gang for nearly as long as the plumbers themselves. Which is why, we both agree that Daisy is 100% worthy of Smash Bros. Switch. We'll see you next time! Thanks for playing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop the credits! Cut the music! Come on! Okay, I hate to say this, TJ, but I think we may disagree here. Well, I love Daisy and I respect her contribution to the Mario series for the past 30 years, I just don't think that she would make sense as a playable character in Smash. Did you hear that, everybody? A Dweebo Jason hates Daisy. Be sure to let him have it in the comments section. <laughs> I gotta say, Jason, I'm kind of surprised by that stance, considering your position on Waluigi. I'm absolutely of the opinion that Daisy is ripe for serious consideration. Okay, TJ, I, I can see we both feel pretty strong on this one, which is why I think the only way we can solve this one is with a visit to Smash Chords. Okay, have it your way. But if I'm gonna defend Princess Daisy in the court of public opinion, then I suppose I should at least dress appropriately for the occasion. There we go, all set. Uh, you know, I, I never really thought about what I would wear. Um, one sec. Okay, well, wait, this one is for uh, a, a different occasion. One, one more sec. There we go. In Smash Court, each Mario Party makes their case as to why or why not Daisy should be included as a playable fighter in Smash Switch. At the end of this session, you, the audience, will serve as the jury, and we'll settle in Smash Court if Daisy has what it takes to be a Smash Bros. brawler. With that in mind, let the case begin. For my opening statement, I want to call your attention to a little game called Yoshi Safari, released in 1993 for the Super Nintendo. This title is the first time in the US that Princess Toadstool, as she was then called, went by the name Peach. So Daisy was actually named in the West before Peach. Daisy was even chosen over Peach to represent the Mario series in the wildly popular and beloved film classic, Super Mario Bros. Not helping! Whose side are you on? But enough of the fun facts. Let's dive into the heart of the matter. Or should I say, flower? The strongest argument against Daisy's inclusion on the Smash roster is how similar she is to Peach. Mr. Sakurai has even commented multiple times on how important diversity is when designing a character and their movesets. That notwithstanding, similar characters are not only an important part of Smash history, they're a part of Nintendo history. The Plummer brothers themselves began their career as clones, and even into the most current iteration of Smash, Mario and Luigi have only minor distinctions between their playstyles and movesets. So Luigi's recognition as a separate character slot is justified not by his uniqueness, but by his popularity. Daisy should be 
similar to Peach, because she always has been. Of course, the team behind Smash can dream up some incredible differentiations, like perhaps centering Daisy's moves around her sports appearances, for example. But while a diverse roster is certainly the spice of Smash, popular characters can overcome that iniquity simply by virtue of how much players love them. Okay, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, before I get started, I want to let the entire jury know I do not hate Daisy. He totally does. <laughs> In fact, it's quite the opposite. Daisy is a hugely important part of Nintendo's history, and I respect her for that. But look at the roster as it is right now. The mainline Mario series has almost an entire row of fighters. And don't get me wrong here, Daisy has charm. She has a different personality in comparison to Peach, and she is different enough in appearance. But with just how closely she resembles Princess Toadstool, I worry that her inclusion wouldn't bring anything original to the table. Now, I'm not saying let's dump Daisy completely. I believe there are other ways to incorporate her into Smash 5 without making her a completely new fighter. It is true that the Mario series boasts the most cast members, but keep in mind, unlike other IPs, most of the Mario characters are actually headliners themselves. It's also true that Yoshi, Wario, Donkey Kong, and Diddy each have a Super Mario series amiibo, but in the case of Smash Brothers, they represent their own respective game series where they are the central characters. Even Mario series staples like Peach has her own marquee title, and Luigi's Mansion series has had his time in the sun. Or, well, moon, I guess. The lines that separate one series from another are becoming blurrier by the game. Mario was a Donkey Kong character long before Donkey Kong was a Mario character. Link, Isabelle, and the Inklings are in the most recent version of Mario Kart. Does that somehow qualify them as Mario characters? Or is it just semantics? Smash Brothers is a celebration of the Nintendo characters we know and love, and nothing says love like smashing your friends. Nintendo has begun giving special acknowledgement to Daisy, with the latest Mario <laughs> Run update that centered around her character. I feel like we might be reaching a point where even if she handles similar to Peach, it's worth the extra effort to give players the option to pick the princess they prefer. And just like Mario and Luigi can battle for brotherly dominance, and what better way to settle the royal score than to be able to pit Peach and Daisy against each other in Smash? With the unlikely continuation of the Wii Fit franchise, and the somewhat lukewarm reception of the Wii Fit trainer in Smash for Wii U and 3DS, maybe Daisy is poised to step in and fill the role of fitness and sports enthusiast. As far as her moves go, she can easily assimilate WFT's soccer header move in reference to Daisy's standout appearances in the Mario Striker games. She can bludgeon foes with her tennis backhand. How about a rhythmic gymnastics-inspired up air from the Olympic Games? Maybe she can use her baseball glove to catch enemy projectiles, and even a wild equestrian special smash where she gallops around burying opponents under the hooves of her mighty Divorce. Okay, okay, I hear you. Let me see if we can come to a bit of a compromise here. Here's what I'm thinking. As I mentioned before, Daisy and Peach are two sides of the same coin, even going so far as to having a Daisy costume for Peach in Smash 4. How about, instead of creating a brand new character with a brand new moveset, we go the Koopa Kids route instead. In Smash Switch, Princess Peach could have an alternate skin that transforms her into Daisy. Same moves, same playstyle, but a completely different look. I'm not just talking about throwing Peach in an orange dress here, but a completely new Daisy remodel. This way, fans of Daisy would feel like they have representation, but a completely new character doesn't have to be created. Nintendo has had luck doing this kind of thing in the past, and I think, in Daisy's case, this would be the best way to incorporate her into the game. I could definitely get behind that. Players can already give Peach a slightly more Daisy bent in Smash 4 a la the custom moves, like the Flower Bomber. If custom moves continue to be a thing in Smash Switch, which I seriously hope they are, then an entire Daisy-inspired workup wouldn't be an unreasonable consideration. Daisy might have a lot in common with the Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom, but what endears her to people are the ways she stands apart with her more tomboyish persona. If Nintendo presents her as a clone of Peach with individual individualized voice acting, a distinct character model, and the Smash announcer says her name, that might be enough for most fans. The defense rests. So, you've heard our arguments, and now we need to know, what do you think? Should Daisy be a playable character in Super Smash Bros. on Switch? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Our favorite comments will be featured on next week's episode. And speaking of comments, here's what you had to say about last week's episode when we asked you which characters should be brought back for Super Smash Bros. on Switch. Here's a comment from our friend, His Royal Majesty King Sado. He writes, We have Link, Zelda, Ganon, and Sheik from Legend of Zelda, but I'm not opposed to a young Link joining in if he had the mask transformation as his moves abilities. It'd be kind of unique. I totally agree, your highness. And the Gluteus Maximus said, Say melee instead of melee one more time. I dare you. Okay, melee. 
Make your own case in the comments section below. We look forward to reading what you have to say. We'll see you next time. Thanks for... Wait, can I say it now? Yeah, I think you're good. Thanks for playing. I always heard it was pronounced Mili-E. <laughs>